So I'm going to show you some way to work with um, text variables as numeric variables. Uh, the reason for it would be to minimize the number of variables tracked by insights in the home. And um, well, if you if there are types of of variables that you really don't need to follow up. Uh, in back in time uh, and also the history and insights also averages everything so certain values at certain times will not however be anyway be as uh, able to track them uh, in, in detail so this is a uh, practical example which I use uh, every five minutes uh, HT count variable as you see in the top there is is set to HT count minus one um, uh, countdown uh, so and and then there's a check if HT count is exactly zero send some message to me and uh, inactivate uh, the, the this flow yeah, in this example so as you can see in the top there uh, 80 count is set to 15 when the when this flow starts and then it counts down 15 and it becomes 14 after five minutes and 13 after five minutes more and so on and so on and then every time there is some kind of action in this flow uh, it's reset to 15 again so so it's a kind of a, a passivity countdown so if you are passive for 15 minutes it will close down the the the, the flow so it's just a count uh, passivity watch as you can see ht count uh, the label here is green so it's a text variable and um, so uh, so it's as you see it's perfectly fine to to use to count with text variables you can see there is a <coughs> text variable used here as that i use as a a uh, to set a uh, to set to a, which is set to the value of a of a truly numerical value. So it's set test text to the numerical value, which is in the EV EV battery. It's just some kind of variable. <clears throat> so and also you can see where we can convert um, a boolean, a yes no, to a uh, number tag also with this uh, with this um, card I don't know what the cards are in in English but I think you can figure them out or the label for them so to speak see all the the different tags you can make you can convert text yes or no to number tag convert number yes or no to text tag and and so on and also create text as text tag uh, further down so there are different possibilities. Also, we have the <coughs> calculate uh, a some variable s, and then we have the calc normal calculation with the double. I don't know what you call them in English. <laughs> single brackets, where you make a calculation ht count, which is a text variable minus one. Um, so, so this actually works in the same ways as the the set or ungin Swedish. I don't know what it's in home in English. And then we have the compare flow card where you can compare greater than or less less or equal to and, and so on. And that can also compare uh, text variables which are numbers. Um, formatted as numbers um, 
So that's very can come very in handy. You compare texts to numbers also, or or you, if you just write the number, or if you have a number tag. Um, so so that's also very. You can see in in some cards. I don't know exact some. But you can see in some flow cards where you can set a tag. There you cannot set choose a tag that is not a number uh, and also you cannot write the formula calculation formula in those in those um, input um, input so but then it's self-evident that you cannot use <coughs> text so it kind of it's automatic to try something else there is always a workaround with another card if you if you really want to use and also, as I mentioned before, if you if you have some times where you need the number for some reason later on, you can always convert the text to a number if it's convertible. Uh, that is, if it's formatted like a number. And also, for instance, for this um, virtual devices, you can uh, set. Uh, set the value for them which is a numerical value on the device uh, you can set it with a uh, a text variable and also then we can create a text tag uh, using a formula in this uh, text create text tag flow card uh, doing some kind of calculation so that also works. Well, you see now, now I did some kind of error here. I, I chose the the text uh, or the numeric set the numeric uh, value, and then I cannot choose a tag which has a, a result that is numerical. It I must I must find the I must find the <clears throat> choose the red card so set the text card to a text tag and not so that's uh, well proves my point But uh, not not in exactly all places. You have to be aware. I will show you some samples below. As you can see, every time I run it, it, it will reduce by one. Uh, so, of course, uh, the prerequisite of this is that the the text used is an actual number and not just uh, a or a b or an x or a whatever char it has to be some kind of number uh, also in some instances you can convert the yes to one and no to zero uh, boolean for instance there are those there's a special logic card for it which can be in handy some sometimes 